ladies and gentlemen, this back and forth seems to be going on now. We have Conscious on the phone who saw the Mr. Vegas interview and the, sh the stuff he was saying about you, Conscious. What, what do you think about that? Yo, I think I think it, it, it's crazy. Yo, I, this is the week of surprises. Yeah. Like, but, but let me clarify some stuff first before we even move forward. First of all, um, Mr. Vegas, I have nothing bad to say about Mr. Vegas. Like, all of the, the, he's trying to kill me on the radio, he's saying a whole bunch of stuff about this and that, and, and then seeking publicity and all of that. If I was seeking publicity, Mr. Vegas would not be the main that I call. And if I remember correctly, when we come on the show, you guys asked me a question, what do I think? And I said what I thought. Yeah. I didn't know the situation in depth at, the, at that point. You said, what do you think? I'm going to answer exactly what I thought. Right. Same answer. But I, think he's a, I think he's a little upset that you, as you answered, you laughed at him. Because it's funny. <laughs> it is funny. Check the level, right? Now... This is a very funny situation. Regardless of how, how you, you want to look at it, this is very funny, and, and, and there's no other way to say it. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff happening in the world, right? There's no way that the whole world is going to stop and join Mr. Vegas in crying because his girl had sex with another man. It's not that serious. For, for conscious, do you have a conscious? <laughs> yeah. But I, what about the fact that it's not just a, a sex with another man, but the fact that it's in front of a child, no matter how you cut it, clearly isn't funny. That yeah, part clearly you, isn't funny. Have you seen the pictures? I've seen the pictures. So do you still think it's a lie? After, listen, I still think it's funny. And I have a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of reasons why I think it's funny. But check what I go on. Seeing... Before we even get to that part, I don't know how long this interview is going to be, but I'm, I have to <laughs> clarify some stuff. First of all, you keep saying that me and Mr. Vegas are friends. Mr. Vegas is a regular icon. We did three shows in the UK, and he, he we were on the show together. He, he was opening the shows for me, which should be the other way around. Understand? Um, I learned from Mr. Vegas because he's a, he's a regular icon. I understand, but there's a difference between you know somebody and somebody's a friend. All right, so let's clarify that first of all. Seen? Fair enough. Um, Seen. Come again? Seen. She gets it, yes. That's yes, that, that. Okay. Yeah, and it, it's just not that big a deal to me. And it, I, I, mean, I, I can't pretend that it's the world to me. It's not that big a deal. The dude didn't touch the little girl. And I said that if she if you trust her, that would have been a totally different situation. But girls do crazy stuff, and people have these situations every day. But you just don't go blasting stuff. The moment you blast stuff to the public, you make you make your private life public business. I saw him um, when, going at you on Twitter, and he mentioned the fact that you have a daughter as well. I have a daughter, and everybody has situations that happens at their house that they keep at their house. The moment you blast the private life to the public, it becomes public business. That means it becomes topics for discussion on comedy programs in the morning. You understand? Hey, so wait a minute. Say what, they, what, they, what they think. <laughs> now, he could have blasted it, and then you could have interviewed somebody and said, what do you think about the Mr. Vegas situation? And they could have been fake, or they could have been safe, or whatever. But you asked me what I thought, and that, the, at that part, at that particular moment, this is what I thought. I still think it's fake, because if you guys were in Jamaica and you saw the, the, um, the, the on-stage interviews, you would know that this looks it looks kind of shaky, and the whole world's saying it. Understand? But I'm on Dream Team, we do our thing. I understand everybody on Dream Team, them on way. But I'm just saying, do design a station like trying to kill me and saying publicity stunts, and I'm not attacking Mr. Vegas. Why would I attack Mr. Vegas to get publicity? Come on. Well, I mean, if you're not saying you're that close, then I understand. But I thought you were close. I thought you were cool like that. So, that's But why even I... still, he's acknowledging he's an icon. And my only thought is why, if he is an icon, he's someone that you've had at least pleasant experiences with, you could have said, would it have been better to say, I think it's fake, but if it's real, that's a damn shame and I feel for him. You know, there's a nicer way you could have approached it, no? Yeah, there's a nicer way I could have approached it. But, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I approached it. 
because what it did is, is, it, is it brought a whole bunch of stuff out in the light. You, you see, he's on the, on, the, on the radio. He's saying on Twitter that he's begging people at Hot 97 to play my record. He's um, he's, 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 he's teaching me how to rock a stage. Um, a whole he said, bunch of he, he, said he taught you how to rock a stage show. Yeah, he taught me how to rock a stage show. All right. Great. Yeah, That's not true? A whole bunch of, no, man. Come on. Now, like I said before, he's already an icon. So I like being a man like Bounty Killer, like all these artists before me. I have respect for them and, and for their craft. I understand? So I'm definitely going to look at their shows, look at look at what they do. It's a very person touring constantly over the years. So I'm going to look at what he does and try to see how I can how I can take for each one of these artists. I'm not trying to emulate Mr. Vega. Come on. He's a part of reggae history, and I respect him for that. See, but this situation, I can't, I can't go on like I think this is a manly thing. What he's doing, I think it's 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 kind of girly, and the whole of Jamaica, the whole world, think it's kind of girly. And there's no other way I'm gonna say it. I'm sorry. So for all the people that that think that um, I'm going in too hard, or whatever, if you ask me a question, maybe if you guys didn't ask me, I would have never mentioned it. But if you ask me, oh. I'm going to say exactly how I feel. Blame it. He's so blaming you. It's our fault. <laughs> Fuck yeah. out of here, man. Sorry. I think that he's, he needs to admit that he spoke too soon and he didn't realize what the situation was and how in depth it was. No. But Just listen, admit it. Listen, listen, listen. listen. No, I did. I did admit it. You understand? I spoke before seeing the pictures and before knowing about the situation in depth. What I'm saying right now is even after seeing the pictures, if you guys are in Jamaica seeing these interviews and seeing that dude has like two songs about the situation already, one happy song and one sad song and the, the old publicity behind it, why why would somebody be going on, on TV and radio and promoting their, their sexual life and, and things in, in private and have songs to match up? Mm. And it's, not, it's just not adding up. So if you ask me again, do I think it's fake? Ask me again. Do you think Go it's ahead. fake? I think it's fake, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's very clear well, on there. His... You have it. No, nah, I mean, yeah, but then again, but then again, this is the entertainment industry. But the, the only reason for calling is, is Mr. Vegas was on, on the radio. Show. Well, look, I'm I'm telling you like this, man. We deal with drama, uh, all different types of artists, all the time, and. <laughs> And I feel, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a dance hall reggae fan, and I want to make sure this is handled correctly, you know? Yeah. No, I'll just say, I don't, listen, karma is real. I, karma is real, and you should watch what you say about other people. So, you know what I'm saying? You can't judge. As the name conscious, you can't judge nobody just so. No, listen, 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 listen. I mean, basically, it just sounds like you're not really humble about the whole situation. And you really no, can't listen, judge not, in life. not even a case of being humble. It's a case of... What's important to you and what's not important to you? Now, you remember you had a, a section in the show like what some things are making people care about. Yes, this is just one of those things that yeah, we feel bad for Mr. Vegas, but it's not that big a deal. You know what I'm saying? But that seems really like that, just, that, that still seems like a small. Country, we just lost. We just lost an artist. Right. Right. The whole country is in mourning because we just lost Captain Barkey. Right. There's no way we're going to take time out to stop and cry for Mr. Vegas. But it's not about. But it's not about Jamaica as a whole. I feel like a small way of thinking. When you think on a a bigger level and just people in general and their children and the relations between man and woman, it's not just a Jamaican thing. You know what I'm saying? It's just people so in general. You're saying to me. You're saying to me that this cut you real deep. Like you, you, you want. To you're not saying cut, cut us deep. It's, really a, it's not really yeah. deep. It's, it's not just, deep. You just think you hear the story and you go, what a shame. Well, he's yeah, entitled to that. his own opinion. No, I said that. I said that if it's, it's, the, it's the real deal, if it's not fake, I'm saying I'm, I'm glad the way he, he, he's operating then. If it's really for real, I'm glad he didn't kill the dude. I did, I'm glad it's not a jail, a jail story. I said that. Nobody's saying that. Kanchin said that. But listen, you're asking me what do I think. And I'm sorry, sometimes I forget in my heart. Sometimes I just happen to be a real person, and I'm going to respond like a real person and say, if this situation seems fake to me, I'm going to say, regardless of the fact that I'm on national or international TV, I'm going to say, this feels fake to me. I'm sorry. I have to be real. True. Well, listen, I, 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 uh, I don't fully agree with your opinion, but I respect you for keeping it. Yeah, I keep it, man. All right, appreciate you taking the time, dude. All right. 
Big up. Yo, but hold on before I go. Yo. People, people are going crazy that I told you to blow smoke in the police face, man. <laughs> <laughs> is, is this a comedy program? Or is yeah, this it was a joke. Yeah. I didn't know why people didn't realize that was a joke. Yeah, listen. Come on. I know on, on that on that side of things, man. We were joking around. We were trying to teach Rosenberg how to speak patois. Like, don't everything don't got to be so serious. But with the kid in the room while people are having sex, that's serious, conscience. Come again? I said that <coughs> the part with the cop. We were obviously joking around teaching Rosenberg how to te talk yeah. patois. But we're just saying the thing with the kid in the room while somebody was having sex. That that's something real sensitive, and people didn't there's find a, that funny. A, but listen, remember, conscience didn't see the picture. No, I got you. Opinion. Look, man, I like you. I like you. I like you as an artist. I like your songs. Meeting you, you were a cool dude. It just that little part was a little asshole-ish. That's all. <laughs> a little ish. He said ish. ish. No, I was just being honest, man. I'm sorry.